Hi there, Prayer Plant Girl here. I uh, have had a, a busy morning already, uh, dealing with other things, and it's a crazy, crazy windy outside, but I have this whole bowl of cucumbers that I've been kind of collecting and saving up for a few days here, hoping to do up a batch of pickles. I picked a few more cucumbers this morning, um, and I think I have enough to do a couple of jars of cucumbers, but I have a busy day ahead of me, so I don't have a lot of time to be spending here in the kitchen. So I'm just gonna use this um, Bernard and Dill pickle mix. I really like this mix. It actually makes some pretty tasty pickles, and uh, it's pretty quick and easy to use. Uh, making pickles isn't hard anyways, but this just saves some of the chopping and prep and gathering of ingredients to do it this way. So um, I already have some jars in my uh, boiler, canner, uh, on the stove there, just uh, sterilizing. I only need two one liter jars for this uh, recipe, but I have a bunch of jars in there just to keep them from rattling and banging around and uh, falling over and getting broken. Um, then I'll also need just some basic canning supplies. So I'll need to funnel uh, some canning tongs or jar lifters. Uh, the magnet wand is really handy for getting the lids on the jars. Uh, just a really flat, thin spatula to get the uh, bubbles out of the jars. Uh, my jars, of course, that are in there. I have some. Oops. I have some metal rings with the uh, sealer lids. These are brand new. You really should use new ones when you're using them, unless you use a different type of sealer for your jars. And I have them in this bowl because I will put some warm water over them just to soften up that. Um, Kind of rubber seal on them to make them uh, adhere to the jar better. Of course my cucumbers, um, I have a cutting board and a knife because I'll need to prep the cukes a little bit. I have a scale because I weighed them. I'm a little bit short on cucumbers but I think it'll be be okay. It is so windy out so if you see the lights flashing it's actually, I'm hoping to hold power for this. My power keeps kind of flashing a little bit so hopefully it stays on for this. Um, a pot, two cups of water, one cup of vinegar and a quarter cup of this uh, Bernard and Dill pickle mix um, and just a spoon to stir it with. Um, you'll need a cloth to wipe the rim of the jar before you put the lid on and it's good to have a towel or some sort of a placemat or something to set your hot jars on when you take them out of the, the water bath just so they don't crack or wreck your counter. Because sometimes if you set them onto a, a counter, even if the counter doesn't really feel cool, it's so much colder than that water it was in, it can crack the jars. So I think that's everything we need to get going. Super easy, super simple. So I'm just boiling my jars right now just to make sure they're good and sterilized. And then I'll, these have been washed and cleaned really well and I'll just put some warm water on them in a few minutes. And now I just need to, I've already measured out my quarter cup of the pickle mix. It smells so good. It smells like the best dill pickle like chip dip you've ever had or I've ever had. Uh, this is the one cup of vinegar and one cup of water. And I'm just using plain ordinary tap water because we're going to stir it up and take it to the stove and boil it for, I believe, 10 minutes. So, super easy. So, while that's boiling, I'm gonna take my cucumbers. Now, when you're making pickles, it's a really good to have nice cold cucumbers. Um, and it's good to have them in the same size. And so, I actually have a variety of sizes here. These have been in my refrigerator. And I'm going to um, slice up the larger ones and just take the stems and ends off of the smaller ones. So they're all hopefully about this width of my thumb in pieces when I'm done here. So you can see they're approximately the same size now. So hopefully once I'm done chopping and prepping the cucumbers, um, then my jars will have um, been sanitized so I'm just going to boil them for about 10 minutes and my liquid there will be uh, boiled for 10 minutes and then um, we'll be ready to pack the jars. While we're waiting for the uh, the 
brine to boil back there, I thought I would just give you a quick little tip or idea if you haven't thought of this before. If uh, you're finding yourself swimming in little zucchini, but lacking in cucumbers, zucchini make great pickles. Uh, I quite often will take them around this size, chop them up, put them in a jar, and use the same pickle mix or any other pickle recipe, but this pickle mix uh, really penetrates into the zucchini and gives it a really great flavor. And these make super pickles. So if you haven't tried pickling your zucchini, I say give it a try this year. Okay, so my jars are nice and hot and ready to be filled up with the cucumber spears. Some of these got a little bit big, so they're pretty full of seeds and that's not ideal for pickles. Uh, they'll still pickle, they just might be a little bit softer. Um, not have that same kind of crunch to them, but that's just what happens sometimes. So we'll just go with it. So now I'm just gonna pack them into these jars as tightly as I can. And we need to leave about half inch of head space in the jar um, after the liquid's in. So I wanna leave that space with the cucumbers as well, because they need to be covered with the liquid. So yeah, I thought that three and a half pounds seemed like a lot of cucumbers. I had about two and a half pounds. And I'm gonna be, I have lots here. So if you wanted to make these pickles um, and just keep them in re your refrigerator without processing them, you would just take the cucumbers cut up in the bowl and just pour that hot brine over them and then let them sit for about half an hour to cool. And then put them in your jars and just keep them in your refrigerator. Yeah, there's lots of cucumbers left there. So I'm gonna get another jar out. So I'll probably have to make some more brine for this jar. We'll see what we have with the brine. I kind of thought, I haven't made this recipe from last year, but I kind of thought that that's what happened before. So this jar, I'll probably just make up some extra brine after I'm done with these and then I'll just keep it in my refrigerator. So let's get the brine and uh, pack these jars up. And I forgot to mention you'll need a ladle probably to get the brine into the jars. So my brine is still nice and hot and I just find it easier, less messy to use the ladle if you don't have one, or I mean the funnel. If you don't have one, that's not the end of the world. So I have a couple here that are sticking up over the liquid, so make sure they're all underneath that liquid. And just run this around the outside of the jar a little bit, just to check for um, any air pockets that might be in there. And again, this one's just poking up a little bit, so I'm just gonna throw it in the other jar. So you don't want them sticking out of the liquid. That one doesn't want to stay in. 
The rest are all good there. And check my head space. I just mark with a, a Sharpie marker on here. I just measure to check the head space. This needs a little bit more, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more hot water. And then I can add my rings and bands. So just center that lid on there and just finger tighten the band. You don't want to over tighten it. So just nice, nicely just finger tight and that's, that's it. So one little quarter turn or so. And then these will just go back in my water bath canner, uh, bring it up to a full boil and process them for 15 minutes. And I'll get some more um, brine going and just pour it over top of these and do that same thing of just let them sit for 30 minutes. I'll just do it right in the jar here and just put them in my refrigerator. After that, the uh, pickles are best uh, if you just let them sit for about four to six weeks uh, just to give them their best flavor infusion and then they're ready to eat. So uh, I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.